हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन स्टडी विद मनीष ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज एग्जैक्टली वर्चुअल स्केलिंग हाई एबिलिटी एबिलिटी जोन एंड एबिलिटी सेट इन एजियोर सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इट इज माय इन एजियोर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एज अ सर्विस इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एज अ सर्विस इट इज अ इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ थ्री थिंग्स कंप्यूट स्टोरेज एंड नेटवर्क Compute means the virtual core, virtual CPU, and virtual RAM. So, which is actually it is available somewhere, but when we are using via the portal, it is a virtualizing the core, virtualizing the CPU, and virtualizing the RAM. Similarly, storage. It, there are three type of storage available. One is premium, another is standard SSD, third is standard HDD, which is the older version of hard disk. so now the latest is the high high availability which we are using it premium ssd and premium and standard ssd these are the high performance hard disk the nic nic is a inter in network interface in network interface card so that is actually every devices have some ips are associated that is using the nic now now the third point is what is scaling scaling is like uh, when we want to when we want to make the high performance of the scaling of any devices like uh, suppose when we are creating a virtual machine on our infrastructure so infrastructure definitely it is a combination of compute storage and network on top of when we are virtualizing it and we are creating a virtual machine means we are creating an instance and that instance work on top of these infrastructure so what is happening when users are when users are using our instances and that time if more users are as are coming on to the instance and we want to we want to just scale the scale the performance of that virtual machine so there is a two way that we can we can increase the performance either we can do for the virtual uh, horizontal way and another is the vertical way so what exactly the meaning of horizontal horizontal means when we want to when we want to add more hard disk onto the machine suppose more users are coming into the virtual machine and we want to add so or compute so we want to add more compute onto the machine onto the instance so that we can reduce the load on the machine and the same time storage we are adding it so that way we can scale up the performance and that is called the horizontal scaling so we can increase the increase the increase the performance of that system and and this is happening when we don't want to reset the machine or reboot the machine and on the running condition we want to improve the performance but at the same time when we want we are ready to reboot it and this is when in the machine there are not more users are coming not more users are on the system and we are just thinking to improve the performance of the system for the future and that time we are just like a 16 gb ram is there so we want that 32 gb or we want 64 gb so when we just increase the ram without uh and that time we will reboot we are ready to reboot the system that is called the virtual scaling vertical scaling now there is one more concept is coming availability zone so what what is the meaning of availability zone availability zone is like a, like when we have a instance and that instance is is available in one particular data center and we want that that data center have an issue will come it should be available so how we can make it is more available so we can add that instance into the another data center suppose here it is we have our application is available here and we want to we want to the same instance we want in the data center so suppose these these are the three availability zones which are available in one particular region that region is suppose it is east us in east us we have a three available available zone and in one available zone have a multiple data centers so inside have a couple of data centers are available similarly here and similarly here so these are the combination of zones that is called the availability zone and this is the one reason so this help us our instance to keep more available in in the running time so that is called the availability zone
in Microsoft Azure terms, there are a couple of diagrams you can see it here. There are many uh, ability zone, ability reason. So it's not uh, are available. You can you can just paste this URL and you can see that where exactly all the data centers are available, ability zones are available, and ability regions are available. So one thing you always remember it in one ability region, maybe or may not be ability zones are available. So reason is first and the second inside the every region have a multiple ability zones are available. Yeah. So that's it. Now the second point is coming here. What is the high ability? So high ability means when we are using a high performance hard disk and that high performance hard disk like we which we already know it that is the premium SSD and premium storage that that help us to provide the high uh, high performance ability so if we are using the premium ssd it provide it provide that 99.9 uh, percent availability when we are using the one instance means one ability zone have my applications are running only one instance when 99.5 when we are using the standard ssd and one instance only means one ability zone have a one uh, uh, uh my one application is running then it means 99.5 percent ability is available so as per the sla because the microsoft have an agreement with the user that your application will available in entire year entire year 99.9 99.5 .9, same if you are using the hhd means hard disk that the normal hard disk it is the 95 percent our sla is there so the question is coming these are the different type of sla but suppose i am a user and i want that my availability should not be only 99.9 .9, it should be more so what is happening you are using only one instance one at a time at that time you will you have to create more instances in a different in a different ability zone so suppose my application is lying here only in one particular region so we need to we need to uh, available into the another zone also and those application will connect with the load balancer so what will happen if one ability zone will fail the another ability zone where the application is available or infrastructure will available it will help to provide more availability and in that time the ability the sla will increase 99.9 to 99.99 so it is almost 10 times more available and downtime reduce more so this is the more good way that we can we can increase the high ability a similar way you want to if you don't want to go in a different ability zone you want to create in a one ability zone only and the different mechanism can increase the sla so how we can do that suppose we don't want to go in a different different zones suppose some ability ability reason have only one ability zone only like a west us have a only one ability zone is available in that case what is happening we can use the ability set it also improve the ability uh, is sla like uh, it is a combination of fault domain and combination of combination of updated domain so what is happening like for example this is our ability reason in ability reason have a one data center and in this data center have a racks are available so if these racks are these racks are actually a uh, these racks are actually called as a fault domain so fault domain where our application so different different fault domains are available into the data center and uh, what exactly the updated domain updated domain like if we are it is a combination of so what is happening if you can i will see i will show you here in in fall domain there have a three fall domain and generally available into the data center and updated domains are in a horizontal so up, updated domains are available into 0 to 20 available maximum 20 ability zone updated domains are available so so what exactly the meaning is one fault domain suppose our application is lying into one one fault domain so another application the, the same application should be available into the another fault domain and another update domain so the third is third the similar third infrastructure is available into the another fault domain and 
other updater. So what will happen? So how what the Microsoft is doing? Microsoft is actually when whenever it is updating any uh, patches, they will update into one update domain at a time. So if you do a one at a time in entire horizontally all the fold fold domain and one update domain, it will do the patch updates. So when it will update, then only it will go to the this. So in that scenario, this this application or this infrastructure will not available. In that scenario, these two will be available. If this will this will not available, then these two will available. So all the threes are available are connected with the load balancer. So if anyone will not available, the remaining two will available. So it will increase the availability. And in this way, we will improve the availability uh, percentage which is 99.5 which is again uh, even though it is a less than the ability uh, high ability which is the different zone but it is improved the 99.9 so yeah so this is the one of way that we can increase the high ability so thank you to everyone uh, I hope you will understand uh, these concepts of uh, high ability high ability zone high ability sets uh, scaling thank you thank you to everyone